Choose a consistent workflow. It contains 10 consistency and lower usage methods. That is, uh, there are 10 ways to use consistency. This is more commonly used. The logo is directly generated. Like a prototype of VI vision. Then I made a picture here. Briefly introduce the effect of using one of his 10 lower. The first LoRa can be used for visual identification design. This will directly transform it into a realistic effect. Effect of printing logo. The second LoRa is font design. The third one is PPT template generation. Another one is a picture of home decoration. Generate like this. He generated for consistent. The same environment. The one below is the effect of a sandstorm. Generate a picture. Finally, add this effect. Visual effects. Sandstorm visual effects. There is another Laura. He is a Laura of portrait illustration. This is the design of a couple's avatar. That is, he can generate pictures with the same style. Cartoon effect. The seventh is the movie storyboard online movie streaming this services. This is equivalent to generating three. Consistent movie character images. Portrait photography. This is equivalent to generating for consistent graphs. Same character, the clothes, and so on are the same. The last one is the effect of fireworks. After generating a picture, you can overlay a fireworks effect. These controls can be controlled using prompt words. Laura, I have already installed the online mirror. There are 10 of them right here. This is a PPT. This is a portrait. Found the like Sigma this. Line movie streaming I services. will explain how to use it in detail later. The first one is its default workflow. Like this. Just generate. Even this logo is generated. This is not good for use in our design. The next one is to specify. For example, I specify this pattern. Then to this workflow to generate. Final HD zone. Put it on this back. And the pattern is based on the picture I just uploaded. But the advantage of this workflow is that you can specify the pattern. The disadvantage is that this similarity still requires card drawing. He wouldn't say it's 100% similar. Probably this can be achieved by generating it several times. Then these 10 ways to use Laura. It has a specific prompt word. I put the format directly here. There are 10 next to it. For example, I am currently using a Laura. I want a Laura with this feature. That is the first. Then I will click on this annotation of visual design. There are detailed dimensions inside. How much to set? Prompt word format for reference. Just copy it. Let me briefly demonstrate this. For example, I want portrait photography. Then I'll put this. I want a consistency of a portrait like this one. These 10 are all effects of consistency. For example, this is also a consistent portrait It generates a cartoon image based on this consistency. Good. Trail portrait photography. Then click on this setting accordingly. Copy this prompt. Format reference. If you're specific, you can modify according to this translation subtle editing. I won't change it here. The first one is the prompt word. The second one is 
Tuesday's Laura, Functional Laura. Then the size, 一千三百四十四 ，you should. Change the size below. Let me give you an example, same as others. The bottom is 1,728. These three are the main. Select the corresponding lower. Then the corresponding, corresponding size. Corresponding prompt will format. You can modify the details inside. Refer to the approximate format. For example, top this left is the and default. bottom left. For example, the default for the upper left and lower left brackets is fine. As for the content inside, you can modify it yourself. I only provide a format for your reference, convenient for you to use. Then here you can generate. I will disable it first. In this way, for consistent images can be generated at once. Figure. I am using the online mirror and Duana Cloud. If you don't want to deploy locally, if you want to use it directly, just click on My Mirror. I am using this image now, so you see I can use it now. Then you can also use because if it doesn't work. If I demonstrate now, you will also report errors or something. So if you can see my video, that means the workflow of this image he can operate normally. I'll reopen it in a moment. Lest you think this is not a mirror image. Etc. I am now demonstrating this portrait photography, Laura. Other similar. Just change the size prompt word corresponding to his lore. These three changes. This achieves the consistency effect. It currently provides these ten functional. A logo effect. Overall, um, its consistency. For example, this visual design. Logo consistency, font design consistency. PPT templates must also be consistent. A photo of the home, it's definitely consistent. A set of sandstorm effects. There must be consistency between the top and the bottom. Portrait illustration, one real person and one cartoon illustration. It's certainly also consistent. Avatar design, couples have portrait, one man and one woman. He must be. Style should be consistent. Movie storyboards must be 100% consistent. Portrait photography is These also. These four pictures are consistent. Fireworks effects are also. The two pictures above and below are just consistent. added fireworks. So overall, it's a one time. One function is realized through these ten types of Laura. Okay, this portrait came out in these pictures. This perfectly maintains the consistency of the characters. In order to avoid that everyone is afraid that my mirror layer will not work, I will reopen my mirror now. Open here. General mirror image. I'm all initial settings. All can be run. But you may add nodes during use, or there are various reasons why it cannot function properly. Then you go back to this homepage. Just open a new image. It's like restoring the factory settings. For example, I open, reopen the latest workflow. Of course, I also have all my other workflows here. If you update to the latest version of the image, you can also use. All my workflows are here.
For example, like this. In our run, let me show you if you can use it. So you can see my videos online. This means that the workflow is running normally. Because if it's not functioning properly, I can't even show you this. Mira. The advantage of mirroring is that you don't need to deploy and install these nodes, put these models, etc. These are ready to use. I will demonstrate a workflow for generating the specified pattern below, just to show you that it can run normally. As for model download, hey, there is an introduction to his project at the bottom of the page. Use the function what effect picture. There is also a download of his ten lore. I have already downloaded it here, and I put the Chinese name in front of it. This way you can understand it better. I have already divided the corresponding prompt word format like this. I won't put it in the same. If you put them in the same place, it will be difficult this to way, find them. You can get a dummy monster. Just step. click on it. You don't need to click several steps. Just pull down the find. I think this step is redundant. Reduce steps if possible. Just click it. Click on whichever one you need. Want to see the effect? Look at the effect next to it. For example, I want a portrait illustration. Corresponding. Click here to use this. If there is this font, you may not know the effect yet. So I added a picture next to it. This makes it easier for everyone to use. Okay, this works. I also open and run it below. Let me show you. Here is normal. This way, you don't have to worry. This image will fail when running this workflow. As long as I can use, you can also use. If you want to deploy locally, then you can open my notes, click on Configure Tutorial, then click on this image category. The first one is 10 IC lower at a time. Click on it and you will see the 10 functional lower introductions and download addresses of this project. And these prompt words are all the same. But if you have to look at my notes every time you use it, that would be very laborious. So I have already annotated it here. You don't need to look for this note. Then below is a screenshot of the workflow. This makes it easier to view notes and so on. Then download the workflow below. This is convenient for people who deploy locally. Okay, back to the above. It's working perfectly, so you can see that I run this image in the video. That means my image workflow is normal. And I'm here to keep all the workflow nodes normal. I have a workflow that places all my nodes. A workflow. All nodes. You can see here the all nodes are normal. That means all my workflows are working perfectly. He's more complicated. You won't introduce. Everyone go play by yourself. I have a note here. You can understand that. The first one is to upload the reference picture and add the prompt word. The prompt words are A, B, C, D and superimposed like this. Then delete the background and turn it into left and right. Use the default flux image generation process. Add this. Laura. You can switch to any function you need. After generation, it has low pixel. So you need to use. Here is to use SD3 to redraw it. The redraw is very small. Just keep its change value at 0 0.15. No big changes are neither, just the HD. 
Finally, zoom in on an H. The accuracy of this image is very high definition. Okay, this workflow is also running perfectly. So you can see that I can run this perfectly. That means this. Mirroring this workflow runs fine. If you can't use, then you just open the mirror again. Maybe it got broken after being used for a while, because my mirror is perfect for what I use now. It won't report errors or anything like that. Then this. The similarity is not necessarily 100%, so this is. This is a problem with the pattern generation workflow specified below. Currently, this is the only way. There's nothing better than this. Okay, let's go play.